Okay, so hello, welcome to what is predicted to be a very rainy weekend vlog. So it's gonna be raining pretty much, raining, not just raining, uh, and hopefully the rain continues, but thundering, thunderstorming until three today. I don't know, I don't know what this is. Not really usual for Arizona for this time of year. It's not usual within the last few years. I can't remember, and I saw someone posting about this as well. I can't remember the last time we had a monsoon like this. And this isn't even normal, this isn't even a normal monsoon. A normal monsoon is like sunny and hot all day long and then from like four to 7 p.m., you know, crazy thunderstorms. So. I have no idea, but as you've seen, as you saw in the last vlog, we I had two nights in a row, last night and the night before, of just this crazy kind of electrical lightning storm with just a bit of rain. So it feels like, this is the hardest I've seen it rain this summer. So I'm, I'm loving this. This is making me very, very happy because we need this. We need this rain so much, but it is kind of messing up my Friday a little bit. Like, I'm not complaining. I will deal with it. But I was gonna go, I had physical therapy um, planned for today and then supposed to go to Whole Foods afterwards and that's not gonna happen. It's the lightning that makes me nervous about going out right now um, and that's why I canceled physical therapy. If it was just raining, I, I wouldn't worry about physical therapy because it's just down the road from me, but it, like, we've got severe weather notices popping up on my phone and you know, seek shelter immediately. The lightning is literally all around me. It's not like it's out in the distance. I just, lightning makes me nervous. I don't wanna be driving. The last thing I need is a tree getting hit and falling in front of my car or something. Okay, I'm gonna go and get myself put together a bit and get to work. that <laughs> it is still storming it is probably it's yeah it's about two hours later from the last time I talked to you it's still raining it's still storming it's now saying it's gonna be doing this potentially until five o'clock so I don't think I'm gonna go to Whole Foods today I have enough food like I'm fine I don't have to go today I can wait until Monday or Tuesday if I need to and 
it's looking like that might be the thing that I have to do because it's going to be doing this tomorrow, I think, as well. There's t still tons of lightning. Like, I, I really, <laughs> I really can't explain to non-Arizonans how bizarre this is. We don't get storms like this, not very often, and this isn't they're calling this part of the monsoon, but this isn't a normal monsoon storm for us. Classic monsoons back in the day when we first moved to Arizona were a hot sunny day all day long and then starting around like three or four o'clock in the afternoon you'd start to see the clouds building up and then you just get this really intense rainstorm and thunderstorm in the afternoon. Back in the day, like back in the 80s and 90s, it was like clockwork. Um, you could set your watch by it for when the rain would start. I'm enjoying it. I really am. But it's also just very bizarre. This is a little bit more like a winter storm than a summer storm. I've just been reading on my Kindle while I've had some food and I've got my coffee. I made myself some false spice coffee today. I've had the Christmas music playing <laughs> and it's dark in here. It doesn't feel like 1130 in the morning. It feels like it's late in the afternoon. Anyway, there's your update. Um, still raining. <laughs> big, big surprise, honestly. Not, that's not sarcasm. I'm honestly surprised it's still raining. I was half afraid that by the time I got back out here, the rain would be done and no, over two hours later, it's still raining and storming. And I am here for this. Um, it's making it really hard for me to want to do some work, but I think I'm going to try to do some sketching while I listen to Christmas music and drink my coffee and then we'll see what I get up to the rest of the day. Have, oh, I need I need a store sign. I might draw that separately and layer it over. I knew I was forgetting something. It's still raining. It is now just about one o'clock. It's it's not pouring rain, but it's raining pretty good. There's still thunder and lightning. It's 72 degrees, but it's 94% humidity. So I have a feeling it doesn't feel that great outside. So I'm all nice and cozy inside. As you will have just seen, I have made progress on my sketch. I'm really happy with the sketch. It's nearly done. I'm really proud of this so far. The next step will be on a fresh sheet of paper to with like a, a marker or just a darker, thicker line pencil. I need to trace over this image and trace only the lines I want to keep because there's stuff that got erased, so I just need to clean up the sketch and then I can scan it into Photoshop. It's coming along. I'm, I've got the beginnings of a book cover. I'm gonna work on this for a few more minutes and then probably switch to copy editing because I want to get at least those two chapters done so that I'm 
staying on top of that and not getting behind on that because I don't really want to get behind on copy editing. honestly been the best day since like March oh it's just been so nice the rain is still going it's still raining but it is slowing down I can see the clouds are thinning out a little bit but it's still very cloudy I can't see any blue sky I'm enjoying it I've got a pot of chili going on the stove I need to grate up some cheese I did the copy editing I copy edited chapters 9 and 10. After I did the copy editing, I started editing across the pond and then was just like, chili sounds really good tonight <laughs> and would be really nice tomorrow and throughout the weekend with this weather. It just seems like chilly weather. Um, I'm still listening to Christmas music. I've had the cashmere and vanilla candle going. I am definitely, I'm definitely enjoying this weather and making the most of it and then after um, I got the chili going on the stove I sat back down here and started working on editing I'm gonna go get the cheese grated up and have dinner because it is starting to smell really strongly and it smells amazing and I'm now getting really hungry so I'm and I've got a low battery light so perfect timing I'm gonna go have some dinner, watch some TV, enjoy a cozy evening, and then we'll see what the rain does tomorrow. <laughs> And it's not raining yet. It's supposed to rain later today. The storm has now like been delayed. I feel like a kid on, on Christmas day waiting for the snow. Like it's already a good day. Like it's cloudy, it's beautiful. We had that amazing rain yesterday. I'm counting my blessings and I'm very happy. And it's still a very cloudy kind of gloomy day. I see like a couple pinpricks of blue sky. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. So we've got a little bit of blue sky trying to peek through there, but it's not gonna work. It's not gonna stay. It's a really lovely, lovely morning. I've got a novel that I've got about three hours left in, so I want to finish that today. I'm gonna go get some coffee and start reading and just enjoy oh, this beautiful cloudy day. I know that sounds like a weird statement to some of you guys, but oh, days like this just make me so happy. <laughs>
Hello and welcome to Sunday. It is a partly sunny Sunday. The sun came out yesterday too. The sun just can't stay away for long here in Arizona. I mean, I just can't believe these temperatures. Just to not have the sun beating in through the window and to not have that turning on every 10 minutes is just so nice. I'm enjoying it. I finished the royal romance I was reading and really enjoyed it. Melanie Summers just writes really cute, fun romances. I've only read her royal romances. I haven't read her other books, but I do really enjoy her writing. So I really enjoyed that one. Book two was as cute as book one was. I'm going to put on, I think, another rainy day video on YouTube and just pretend while I enjoy my reading. And I need to go get coffee in a second. So I will do that too. Also, I spilled something on my sweatshirt, so I have had a wardrobe change. I figured I'd take advantage of one more day in my favorite sweater, but I had an Amazon package arrive, so I wanted to show you what I got. And they're all book cover related. They're all cover illustration related. So the first two things are a couple of rulers, both by Westcott. I have one Westcott ruler already, this little six by one inch gridded ruler. I love these. These are so great. I got this one back in my bullet journaling days because it's so great. The fact that it's clear and has so many different lines, it's easy to just do any line work you need. And so for bullet journaling, I would say the six by one inch Westcott rulers are kind of essential. For cover illustration, I kind of needed something a little bit more. So I sought out the 12 inch one it's 12 inches by two inches i know that my idea for the across the pond cover is also going to involve buildings and so i figured it would not hurt me to get the 12 inch ruler but then while i was looking for that one i saw this one which is the 180 degree protractor ruler. And so I thought this would be nice because if I'm needing to do angles for perspective, which is probably going to be the case for across the pond, then I can line it up against, you know, one of the angle lines and then draw. This was only like two bucks, I think. This I think was like $4. These are not expensive, but they are so handy for any kind of line work that you need to do. And then I wanted to get some black markers to help me do the line work. And I found these ones, hand lettering calligraphy brush pens. And so there's some in here that are really fine. I will probably kill whichever pen I choose it will probably die in the process of doing this but i'm hoping between the whole pack i will be able to get through doing this <laughs> but yeah for now i'm gonna get back to enjoying this beautiful rainy day it's not raining a lot but it is raining just a little bit and it's gotten really cloudy again it was pretty sunny this morning so so i'm enjoying the clouds but i've got 
a headache. I've got a headache. So I need to, so I, I've tried medicine, I've tried an ice pack over the face. Those both have helped, but I'm feeling like a cup of tea might be the best thing. So I'm going to go make a cup of peppermint tea and then I'm going to get back to reading and enjoy this lovely afternoon. <laughs> Okay, it is now seven o'clock. I <laughs> that took me a little bit longer to edit that vlog than I anticipated, but I had a lot of fun editing it. It was the first, it was the Wednesday, Thursday vlog, which were the first two nights of lightning storms that we had before this weekend and all the rain of this weekend. So that was fun. I can't wait to edit this vlog, to be honest, because I can't wait to relive this weekend. This weekend has just been so magical in so many ways. I think that's one of the things I love most about editing and about, about vlogging is it really does give you a different perspective on things. But now it's seven and I still haven't eaten dinner. So thankfully it's all in the fridge. I just need to heat it up. I've still got some leftover chili and I made some pasta to go with it yesterday. So I've got some pasta um, leftovers to mix in as well. So I'm just gonna, and the cheese is already grated. So it'll only take me a couple minutes to heat it all up. So I'm gonna get everything heated up and have dinner. And then I'm just kind of watching TV and relaxing for the rest of the evening. But I've had a lovely afternoon. I finished reading Oh, I'm so rubbish at remembering titles. I think it was called Kiss Under the Mistletoe or something like that. It's a holiday romance by Evelyn May is the author. She is another indie author and I found her book in a Facebook group I'm in for indie authors every weekend. The host, the admin of the group allows a share thread where people can just share whatever book or blog or website or whatever they want to share for promotional reasons. And so I found it a few, well, quite a few months ago. I think I was like back in February or March. And so I wasn't really ready to read Christmas books. Like I was past that for the year, for the season, but I didn't want to forget about it. So I just bought it at the time and it's been sitting on my Kindle TBR list. And I just thought, well, eventually I'll read it. So I finally read it and really enjoyed it. It was short. It only took me about two and a half hours. It wasn't really long. I'd say my, I gave it four stars and I'd say it's because my one complaint, if you will, is I just wish it had been a little bit longer. I really liked the characters and I really liked the premise. It just in places felt a bit rushed. Overall, it was a really entertaining book. Um, if you like Hallmark or Netflix kind of cheesy but in a good way Christmas movies. This is definitely that kind of book. And so if you're looking for a little bit of Christmas in July, I would definitely recommend it because I because I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a great way to spend this afternoon and I just had Christmas music playing and I had a like rainy rain outside a window video playing on YouTube and at one point it did cloud up and we did get a little bit of rain, not a lot, but a little bit. Um, and so that was really nice. So it just felt a little bit cozy and festive in here. I lit my wax melt again and put some of the uh, spiced cider wax in there from an anthropology candle. And yeah, my apartment smells pretty good. I need to light it again. The little tea light ran out. Question for the vlog. This will probably be silly, but like we've just had the most amazing weather. But I love, I always love hearing what the weather is like in your area. I feel like 
throughout this weekend. I think it finally started cooling down again in the UK, but like last week as we were heading into what looked like was going to be a cooler and much rainier weekend than we normally have, it was just weird that like here are other parts of the world that are normally cooler than us were getting hot weather and we've been having what I feel like cooler than average temperatures. So I'd love to know what was the weather like over the weekend for you? Was it normal summer for you? Was it hotter than usual summer? Colder than usual summer? Rainier or drier than usual? Let me know. I'd love the, the weather report from your neck of the woods. This is going away. I wish it would come back. I wish it would stay. I wish it would stay so much. But yeah, it's going away at least for now. Fingers crossed. This so far has been a cooler and wetter than usual monsoon, so I'm not completely giving up hope that we could get some more weather like this. I really, really hope we do. Anyway, let me know what the weather is like where you live. And yeah, if you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. All of that great stuff. Say hi in the comments. Let me know how you're doing. And I will see you all very soon in the next vlog. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye!